Hey guys, Johan Alvarez, Joanna Nin, Irina. From this beautiful group that you see here, I am the realtor. Johan is the lender with Altera Home Loans and Irina is a very happy client. We just closed on a house three minutes ago on an FHA loan. And we want to create this video to raise awareness of the fact that you don't have to be disappointed right now with the craziness that's happening in the market. I will let Irina tell you how many offers we put on homes. Yes, we got denied on many, but this time with a great teamwork, we actually managed to close on an FHA loan in a multiple offer situation on a house in Cary, you guys. There we go. Yeah. Not 30 miles away, but in Cary. And also a really good point to for you guys to remember about what happened today is the fact that not every seller, as in homeowner, is going to want to sell their house to someone that brings a lot of money above that price. People still care about giving their homes to homeowners that are going to love their home just as much as they do. People still care about who's going to live in that neighborhood and all of that. So it's not all about the money and investors. However, it does take a dedicated lender, a dedicated realtor that knows the market, understands how to negotiate with the agent that's on the other side as well, because she doesn't know this. But my work before her offer was accepted was quite substantial with the other agent. Not only mine, but Johan's work as well. Several phone calls, emails, text messages, vouching on who our client is, on her life, on her children, on her job, on her financial situation. Because, you know, the biggest fear that sellers have is that people might not qualify, right? And then even though they get the due diligence check, which is quite substantial, you know, I mean, it's still a problem when your buyer doesn't qualify, the loan doesn't go through. So with that in mind, I'm going to give the stage to Miss Irina. Uh, I'm sorry, Johan. <laughs> um, but well, I, I want- I could tell him a little bit about also, you know, yeah. the appraisal didn't come in short. No, right? yes. The appraisal didn't come in short yes, in Gary. Exactly. Um, the listing agent understood the FHA program as well. She wasn't scared of accepting an FHA. She said, I'm not scared of an FHA. Why would I be scared? It's a beautiful program. And if you guys don't know what an FHA loan is, please connect with Johan. We'll have all of our information there. The point is she wasn't scared. Um, even though it's a government loan, it doesn't mean that the person doesn't have money or they have bad credit or anything like that. But there's a lot of first time home buyers out there, just like Irina, that need a house. And there is a possibility for all of you to get a house. And it was so, the best program for her situation. Absolutely. Right? She tried uh, to obtain a different program and it didn't work out. And we were able to get it done. And how quick did we get it done for you? Karina? Three weeks. So it took us three weeks to get it done and close on time. Um, but tell them, you know, just give them some words of encouragement. There's plenty of buyers out there that uh, may think that it's not possible to buy a house in this market especially in Cary and uh, you know, your testament that, that it's still possible. Yes, definitely. It's thanks to the team and the cooperation of Joanna and Jan, I was able to buy a house as a single mom, um, last year veterinary school graduate. I'm a veterinarian, graduated from state 2021, have two small little beautiful girls and I'm an immigrant. I moved to the US as a first generation immigrant, which I think all of those factors um, can scare people away from trying to purchase a home and establish a life here. And it didn't scare me away. However, there were a few scary moments in the process. Not only was I shocked that our offer was accepted, even though there were other offers with a lot higher numbers that were denied by the seller, but also I got denied by two different loan officers uh, because I wanted to get a specific loan and the second loan officer actually basically was convinced that i wouldn't be able to close with anyone else and basically told me if i were you i would get the due diligence money back which i know you can't get back so that was a very scary situation but 
Johan was always there. He was there before that and he was very patient in the aspect that I wanted to explore that other opportunity and see if I can get something different for me personally. He was there waiting for if it doesn't go through, which exactly what happened. It didn't go through. We had three weeks before closing date and they came in and kind of swept away all the worries and problems that could have been happening. So here I am standing here with a key in my little pouch and mm -hmm. a house that is mine and thanks to them. Sorry, it's very emotional. Thank awesome. you. Thank awesome, you very awesome. much. Awesome. This is what it's all about. Yes. So, so don't now be I know we're kissing with COVID yeah. and all, but we're fine. We have a house. <laughs> no, <laughs> well, we're Congratulations, just Thank you. Congratulations again, you guys. Um, don't things, get discouraged. Don't get discouraged. Just choose the right lender, the right realtor, and trust the process. Just trust that they know what they're doing. Um, there are a lot of people out there who don't know what they're doing, unfortunately, who would offer you all sorts of rebates. And let me tell you the secret. The reason they're offering you rebates because you yourself are not asking for rebates for your, from your employer because you know what you're doing, right? But the reason they're, ask, they're offering those rebates is because they probably are not good at what they're doing and they don't know how to protect their clients. So they would get anything done just to get a client through their door. Um, I probably shouldn't have added that there, but it's so. Um, but it's a it's it's, it's so relevant real because right now, yeah. you add value in a different way. Right. right, and it doesn't have to be money the way that you add value. No, no. Um, there's a lot of scenarios, and real estate agents are, I feel, kind of just being seen as a tool to just see a house. But you guys, in the background, there's a lot of phone calls, there's a lot of emails, there's a lot of things that go on between a realtor, between a lender, and not all lenders have the same programs and not all lenders present themselves the same way and not all realtors know the things that we do since we've sold hundreds of homes in the past 10 years. So that would be all. Irina, you were more than wonderful to work with. And I really hope that anytime I wanna get a great coffee and some great food at her house, which is, by the way, something I really do. <laughs> People don't believe me, but I do. Yes. I can just hop into your, into my car and go, hey, I'm here. What do you have in your fridge today? You're always welcome. Need I need bed. to buy a fridge first. <laughs> oh, I need to buy a fridge. Yeah, yes, she that's took the true. fridge. She she took don't the expect fridge. that. Yes, yes, that, yes. Okay. Yes, you did expect it because he wasn't in the contract. And just so we can end it um, in style, Irina here is a vet, as you heard her say. So if you need any assistance um, from a vet that is super passionate. And also, I know that you run another company, right? I do, yes, Vetletics. So we actually developed the world's first and only dynamic compression suit for horses uh, to help their medical and athletic recovery. So reach out. Reach awesome. out. That's she good. lost me a dynamic, but I'm going to ask <laughs> what that means <laughs> because it's important just in case I get a horse ever. <laughs> so, yeah. Thank you guys, Irina. Thank I you. love you. Johan, good Bye. job. No worries. Bye. Bye. Got it done. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you guys. Don't get discouraged. Keep going. If you need help, reach out to us. Ciao.